how's everyone doing? This is going to be kind of like a vlog, if you will. This is Saturday night. I know uh, some people are doing like the Friday night ritual vlogs and stuff like that. It's been on here for a little bit. This is going to be a Saturday night vlog. Uh, I'm watching the Knicks Pacers game right there on the plasma. Uh, I've got some pizza and I've got my beer right there, my favorite beer right there. Fantastic session beer right there, Stone Brewery Levitation Ale. Oh, Stone Brewery's becoming one of my favorite breweries. I haven't had anything from there that I haven't liked. I mean, everything from there has been fantastic. So yeah, Stone Brewery, cheers to you. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Mm. Once it hits your mouth, it's just like love. Mm. Have you ever had a, a beer in the shower? I did that recently for the first time. That was amazing. And I take hot showers, even in the summertime. And that, that hot steam coming down, you, you have a nice cold sip of the, the brew right there. That's relaxation. And uh, the Knicks are uh, screwing the pooch again. Man, their offense is just dreadful right now. The paces are just, ah, this is rough to watch as a Knicks fan, you know? Put this back down here. Been a Knicks fan since I was a kid. And you know, I remember the 90s, the Knicks. Ah, I love that. They've been essentially breaking my heart since then. And uh, I, man, the Pacers? Ah, come on, man. This is like old school rivalry. We're straight back to the 90s. Reggie Miller what was it, like eight, nine points in like seven seconds or something crazy like that. If you, if you grew up in this area, if you're a basketball fan even, you have to remember that play. You have to remember that moment. That will always stand out. And then the, uh, the John Starks shot right there too. Ah, oh, Starks, baby. But anyways, yeah, I'm just hanging out. Uh, I'll show you some more of my collection I got going on up here. And my battery's about to die, so this is going to be a short vlog. There's Wrigley. Chilling. But yeah, a whole bunch of my stuff moved back in over here. Some of the box sets and things like that. Tins and... Some of the uh, TV shows over there. There's the MASH set over there, Kids in the Hall. Some of the uh, office uh, box sets right there that come the kind of like crates, which are pretty cool, kind of like uh, uh, the paper crates right there. So I like those. And then there's some of the mask editions and some more goodies right there. And there's the bathroom. So the magic happens. Bless you, little Wrigley. But yeah, I also, uh, you know, I have tons of movies in the closet I've shown before. All kinds of goodies up in there. Uh, but yeah, I got this frame right here, and I got the poster in there for John Carpenter's The Thing, and I'm debating about putting up multiple uh, posters in here, because this is, you know, this is my room. I have all my movies in here as well, and I'm just thinking maybe I should put up some posters. I'm kind of torn between it, really. I didn't zoom in, did I? I hope not. Uh, but I'm kind of torn about putting, you know, posters all over the walls, or if I just should do like one or two. Uh, you know, I'm kind of older, you know, you bring a girl back to your room, they see all these kind of movie posters, it might be a turnoff, so, uh, the movie, the movie collection didn't kill it though, they should be alright with the posters, right? Right? Now, I know my roommate said I could put the, some of my movies downstairs and stuff like that, but I like having the movies in my room, I like having that access right there so I can just put it right in, and, you know, wash it up, or, you know, also too, in my videos, I like having them behind me in the background, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a comfort thing, I don't know. But I like having the movies in here, and I'm debating about the posters. Am I too old to have posters up on my wall? Is that too, you know, unsophisticated to have movie posters? I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I know when I was younger, I used to have all kinds of posters and stuff, and I took them all down. You know, I lived with the, you know, I was engaged. I lived with the girl for a while. We had, you know, the nice art prints and stuff like that. We didn't have uh, movie posters up, you know. Uh, in the main living room, we had our books and stuff like that. I do read. Reading is fundamental, baby. You know, get your learn on. I do love to read, uh, but I do love movies as well. I'm passionate. I'm passionate about movies, sports, uh, good books, uh, good whiskey and beer, and beautiful women. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I am rambling. I've had a few beers deep already. I, I, when I become inebriated, I become quite verbose, so, you know, I might just be saying a little bit of everything right now. But anyways, let me know what you think. Should I put up movie posters and stuff on all the different walls? Like, put a couple there, there there, behind there, you know, in the closet maybe. Let me know what you guys think. Shumpert, love the hairdo. Chicken and old school, love it, baby. Shumpert, come on, we're watching this live right here. Come on, Shumpert, hit that, hit that, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Nick, stay with me, baby. Come on. 
Anyways, this is just gonna be kind of a vlogish type thing. Just chilling, taking it easy, having a couple beers, uh, pizza, watching the game, checking out some YouTube-ish videos and stuff like that. But just figured I'd do a little vlog. And uh, definitely let me know you guys' opinion though. Should I put up the posters? Should I not put up the posters? I'm older now, a little bit older. You know, is that gonna, I don't know, is that gonna be not as cool or classy? You know, stay classy, San Diego. Jersey. But yeah, and there's the movie collection as well. I figured I'd go ahead and show some more of that. And uh, I'm gonna get that fourth book sh uh, bookcase right there, and then two extra shelves for each bookcase. So hopefully that will get everything off the floor and uh, out of the closet. And yeah, I'm not wearing pants because I hate pants. Pants are the devil's clothing wear right there. You know, I'm not I'm not for pants. If, I, if it was up to me, I would just wear boxers everywhere. And I got these nice uh, pickle boxers right there. I'm all about the different kind of uh, novelty boxers, all kinds of ones. I have ones that say, that's what she said, because I say that's what she said all the time. And I have some boxers like that. I've got all kinds of, you know, silly boxers. Uh, but yeah, anyways, totally rambling. Let me know about the posters. I've got a bunch of pretty sweet uh, original theatrical one-sheet posters. I love horror ones as well. Uh, you know, I've got... Uh, uh, the Just Before Dawn one that was signed, I showed that in a video recently. I've got the original House of Sorority Row, which I love that movie as well. Uh, I've got a few other ones. I've got Blood Diner, which I love. I've got the Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2, both those posters, uh, both signed up as well. I've got a bunch of different ones, uh, The Hunger. I've got a ton of different uh, one sheets. I got the Predator original one sheet, which cost me a pretty penny, by the way. That was expensive. That was rolled, too. You know, a lot of the ones are, you know, got the folds and stuff they were used and stuff, which I'm totally cool with that. You know, it's got some history there. Uh, but the rolled ones, very hard to get for older films. Uh, but the Predator one rolled, pretty penny, very costly. But I got a bunch of different, you know, movie posters, a lot of horror ones. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of torn. Like, Am I too old to have these posters up in my room? Uh, you know, I'm still a movie fan. I mean, I love movies. It's a passion right there. Uh, so maybe, you know, I can justify that by that. And whoever's with me, you know, whoever I date, you know, they gotta accept that. Whatever girl I'm with, they gotta know that. They gotta be down with that. Uh, but, you know, maybe when I uh, move out of here, uh, and if I'm with, uh, you know, whoever I'm with, we get out of a place again, you know, something like that. Maybe I'll have a separate little area where I can put my posters. I don't know. But for now, I'm really debating. I'm torn about it. I'm kind of like, I got so many posters, I just want to display them. Um, I don't have to really put them up in my room here. Uh, I don't think my roommate would be cool with having all the horror posters downstairs in the living room and stuff like that. And this is uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, Japanese version of the poster right there. I mean, how cool is that, right? I love the look and design of this one. The Japanese have way better artwork, not just for their posters, uh, but for their, their movies usually too. Uh, I got I have the thing, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, Laserdisc Japanese version, which stellar artwork there as well. And so many of their posters look so much better artwork wise. I mean, come on, how sweet is that? You got the cast right there. You've got uh, the outpost right there. You've got all like, that fancy lettering, and then you have the you know, the thing right there, the alien kind of right there, the helicopter, you know, you have Kurt Russell right there again, the lead. And then, you know, some more text, and then you have the Earth. And then, uh, this is always interesting to me. You see the number 10 right there, and then the word UFO, which is kind of, I guess that doesn't translate. But I mean, that just looks sweet as heck to me. That is definitely going up. You know, if any poster's going up, that one's going up, because I love the look of that one. But I really want to put some of my other ones up as well. Especially the ones that I have signed, and some of the ones that are, you know, kind of harder to find, original one prints, uh, theatrical, you know, releases, and uh, they're kind of hard to find. Nowadays, you know, posters are so overproduced, uh, as well as movies in general, in my opinion. They're so mass-produced, just, you know, one after another after another. It's just all about making that quick buck, but the movie posters, too, you know, nowadays, movie posters aren't really rare or hard to find. You can find them anywhere. Just go on eBay, you will find, you know, dozens of new release posters, but for older ones, they're hard to find. I need to get a haircut as well. I'm getting kind of like the Statue of Liberty thing going on there. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of these vlogs as well. Should I do more of these, like, you know, Friday night or Saturday night vlogs? Kind of like downtime, just hanging out, relaxing. You know, throw a couple topics out there, like the poster situation, and, you know, show my collection a little bit as well. Let's, let's do a quick little little uh, collection right here. Here's some Digibooks. There's some Digibooks right there. Doo doo doo. Digi, digi, digi. Here's some random horror. Doo doo doo.
Yeah, definitely let me know what you think of these. Should I do more of them or would you just not care to see them anymore? I have a separate channel where I do mostly vlogs, uh, the Sublime J, so check that out as well down below. Should I just keep the vlogs separate to that channel? Let me know. Or would you like to see more vlogs on this channel? Kind of mix it up a little bit. Let me know what you think. What, let me know what you guys are doing this Saturday night as well. Let me know. Give me some comments or video responses down below. Let's get some, you know, Saturday night vlogs, or Friday night vlogs, some vlog stuff. You know, not just straight up reviews and stuff like that. Those are great too. But let's get some personality and, you know, get to know one another. Let's talk. Let's hug it out. But, uh, yeah, leave me some comments or video responses down below. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care. Next, you better win. Peace.